G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Ollie Craig here, Primal Pursuit Mission, Camp Catch Cook. We're on the second part of this adventure and we're perched up in this beautiful bay here. It's sheltered from the wind and swell. Just had a night in the tent and we're cooking up a beautiful feed here. Some venison backstrap. Life's pretty good. Explore some new coastline and just enjoy being in the, in the outdoors. So come along for the ride if you're keen. Beautiful morning. Looks like the uh, bee might have washed up a bit on the rocks there, unfortunately. <laughs> Hopefully the hull's all right. Looks like it's still full with air. <laughs> yeah, it's perched up on a, on a rock just there. Oh well, it was, um, there was a bit of swell that came in overnight. It was fairly rough. Anyways, might get that fire restoked. Um, cook up some breakfast and uh, have a coffee. And then we'll uh, get out there again into the water. Oh yeah, nice and warm. Let's go check on this IB. Looks like it's still full with air, so hopefully no damage. She'll be right. Must have uh, hit the anchor just a bit, a bit too short. Um, and their high tide overnight lifted it up and dragged it a bit. Um, anyways, lucky it's dragged in and not uh, out to sea, so. <laughs> All right, there she is. Oh, they don't look too jaggedy, these rocks, so. We'll just let that sit there and uh, easy launch. Righto, fire's roaring up there. Let's go get some uh, breakfast cooked. Warm up. We'll go scout some more coastline. I peeked out of the tent last night and uh, the waves are right up here. About a couple of meters from the tent, just crashing right here. And that's how far the tide's gone out, quite amazing. Woohoo, that fire R raging now. Oh, that's so good. Right, we've got a venison backstrap that I've brought along. That's Bricky. Shot this fallow deer about two months ago. Beautiful, nice amount of fat on there. Butter in there. Tricky. It's going to be a big day of diving ahead, so I'm going to make some sandwiches, eat the body, get some carbs, energy, I'll slice up this venison, you know it, and uh, should be tasty. Starting to see some rocks that have poked out from this point here. They weren't visible yesterday with this dead low tide, so that might be a, a place to stop on the way, and uh, yeah, we might try cruise around the coast and try and find a bit more cleaner water. No real plan for today. Um, I do want to take some fish home. Oh, that smoke. Oh, you know how it is, eh? Everywhere you sit around a campfire, the smoke just follows you. It's one of those days. It just can't make up its mind. Whew. Had to move. Um, so yeah, no plan specifically, but yeah, we're gonna finish off our camping session cook up a feed and try and get some fish to bring home. We'll just try some new ground as usual, it's the way. And uh, hopefully we can get this IB off the rocks. Well, I reckon that's pretty much done. Oh, a bit longer, flip that over. Alright, let's cut into this back strap. 
the arm. Beautiful. Ah, there we go. Get that on our bread semi. Too good. Load her up. Oh yeah. Damn good. Coffee's not really recommended before a dive, spear fishing and free diving. Increases your heart rate, which in turn doesn't let you hold your breath for as long. But uh, if you've got a good metabolism like me, you burn it off fairly quickly. Usually after about an hour diving, I'm, I'm back to where I normally are, so. Each to their own, eh? Righto guys, stomach full. Got my caffeine hit, wetsuit on. Got my dry backpack with all my um, valuables and mobile and safety devices in some bananas for good luck <laughs> dog bag, spear gun let's go get this boat off the rocks <sighs> morning's my favourite time to target snapper everyone's got their own methods I prefer first thing in the morning I find the snapper still quite sleepy from the night just milling around in gutters other people swear by middle of the day up in the shallows, um, slack tides, um, other people prefer the evening, each to their own, just get out there and find what works for you in your area. As for the kingfish, you need that tide pushing, you need the current, so generally incoming tide works best at most spots, uh, mid to high tide, um, some spots work on low tides. Oh, again, just see what works in your area, it's all trial and error spearfishing and all part of the fun. This could be interesting. <laughs> Tide's gone out even more. It's bizarre. We are flat on the rocks here. Oh well, easy entry. Don't need to get wet. Bugger. Well, it's not too heavy. I'll just have to carefully jimmy it off and uh, hopefully don't rip a hole in the pontoon. We'll get into it. Nice light boat. All right, too easy. We just push ourselves out with this oar. only dead low tide now so anchored up here in this little kind of rocky upcrop of a bay and we'll go for a hunt for some snapper first and then um, in about an hour hour or two we'll, we'll push out to the spot where I might might be able to find a kingfish uh, and the tide should be pushing a bit more then so yep just make sure 
this anchor's holding because we're drifting pretty close to the rocks. It might um, put us out a bit further and uh, let's jump in. Diving around a spot from the surface, an antenna of a crayfish or a pack horse lobster. On closer inspection, I'm correct. Notice the green coloration. It's a pack horse lobster horn and antenna. They must be close. Put my head into this cave, letting my eyes adjust for a second. No luck in there, but they must be close. I head to the surface, have a breathe up and then back down. Here's a nice crack running along here under this boulder and sure enough, there's the crayfish. A red crayfish here on the left, it's actually a bit too small. Then I notice a bit deeper inside, a whole bunch of pack horse lobster. I size up the biggest one, get the right angle approach, and go for the grab. Right, it's a pack horse lobster. Unfortunately, that actually looks a bit small, really, and uh, that shell is starting to go soft. So, we'll put that one back. guys good little warm-up um, haven't got anything in the bag yet <clears throat> that's not a worry we're just here cruising around checking out the place um, quite cool to see that that little nest of pack horse lobster pack horse crayfish um, yeah pretty neat to see unfortunately all too small and um, actually the biggest one was in starting to go into soft shell so starting to molt and grow a bigger shell so let that one go Look, we're just going to have to peek around the corner, see what's going on. The wind's a bit all over the place today, the weather report's a bit out. We'll, we'll find somewhere to tuck in and somewhere sheltered and yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully find something to take home. made it to another spot. Um, wood is still pretty green unfortunately but um, that's kind of expected up here. We're just in this beautiful little bay here it's quite sheltered so I'm gonna have a little squiz around, a little swim. Look out for some crayfish, um, see if there's any sleepy snappers still around and uh, yeah then we'll move on after that. The tide should be pushing a bit more and we'll see if we can pick up a kingfish. Absolutely beautiful day out in the water. Look at it. Sun's just coming up.
there. That was pretty lifeless at this spot. Seriously saw about two little um, kind of reefy, grassy fish. Um, unbelievable. Uh, the wind's just quite strong. It's um, definitely picked up a lot more than I thought it was going to be. It's going to head up to this uh, offshore island here, but I think I'll just leave it today. Gut feeling says just leave it. I can almost see some whitewash getting smashed up against the, the face of the rock out there. So. Um, it's quite a long way out, so I imagine it's going to be pretty rough. We'll just leave that for today, um, keep it nice and safe. I'll tuck along the coast a little bit more. Kahawai. Beautiful, sweet. It's our fish salad for dinner. Woohoo! Cool. Well, that worked out alright, so, um, might do that once more, or might even try and anchor just there, and we'll just hang onto the boat, and um, hopefully some kingfish come underneath current pushing. So um, yeah, we'll try and anchor up if we can. Unfortunately that anchor got stuck on the reef below, it was a bit too deep for me to free dive and get unstuck so I tried every trick in the book trying to dislodge the anchor and in the end the anchor line giving way unfortunately and uh, lost the anchor to the ocean. Anchoring didn't work out too well. Got stuck on the reef. Lost the anchor. Bugger. Well, guys, that was a bit unfortunate losing that anchor. Um, so yeah, that kind of ruins <laughs> the day a bit. That's all good, it's, it's pretty wild and rough out here. I got that nice kahawai, so I'll probably go back and uh, eat that on the, on the beach and I'll show up to the little campsite. Um, I'm just gonna try one last little spot here. I've got the rope still, so I'll, if I can find a nice rock, I'll tie off to a rock.
I'm really struggling to get this boat tied off to these rocks below. Current was just pushing hard, just trying to keep that boat up close. It's all a bit too much, it's getting tired, frustrated. Then I found this little swim through, poked the gun through, finally managing to tie off to this section of boulders. After all the drama and fuss, I was pretty exhausted and this is all I was left with. A couple of demisal and silver drummer. Not the target species I was after, so decided to call it. I had my beautiful kahawai, stomach was growling, time to head back. Alright guys, boat's anchored up, Whew. back at our sheltered little beach, whatever you want to call it, and uh, let's get stuck into this car while I do a little raw fish, I'm starving. Alright guys, we're going to get stuck into this car while do a nice raw fish, so we only need one half for a feed. Get down there behind the pick. Coming from the back. Up the side. Beautiful raw fish kahawa. There we go. Open it up. Over those. A oh, little bit rough here. Down the back there. There we go. Right, so now we just want to get that skin off. We'll go back for the fishies and we'll just come down that backbone, get any spinal bones and that bloodline out. I don't worry about a little bit of bloodline on there, a bit more flavour. We've got two beautiful pieces just to slice up. Reasonably thin. Look at that it's beautiful flesh, this kahawai. Great raw, smoked, pan fried, very underrated fish. My favourite though is like this. Fresh and raw. Squeeze a bit of lemon. And the juice all over there. Mix that in. I like just a touch of salt. Cool little power shell I found on the beach. Little baby one. Found two of them. 
All right, then we've got a bit of soy sauce. And you can't forget a bit of wasabi. All right, this looks beautiful. Mm. Oh wow, that's stunning. Mm. A lot of people like to use kahawa as bait or just throw them back. Can't be bothered with them, but it's a very good eating fish. Um, if you look after it well, bleed it, get it on ice. Yeah, get into it. Give it a go if you haven't already. Well, that's me for the afternoon. Just gonna kick it back here. No rush to get back to civilization. Might even have a little sleep. Finish off my kahawai. I don't think that other half's gonna last long. Pretty sure I'll eat that up as well. Well guys, that's it for another episode. Just gonna kick back and enjoy the afternoon sun. Warm up after a couple of days in the cold water. Hope you enjoyed that one. It was far from the most glamorous spearfishing. I hope it's inspired a few of you to get out into the winter cold. Just being out here in such beautiful weather, sun's out, it's, it's just being immersed in nature, it's just, it's just amazing. So I hope more of you get out there and um, embrace the winter. Didn't get the fit kingfish, but look at this. This has been my view for two days. If you want to support my channel guys, thumbs up and a comment goes a long way. A share and all that stuff, otherwise primalpursuit.co.nz if you want to check out my merch. Appreciate all your support so far. Plenty of options for missions ahead. Let me know in the comments what you want to see for a future mission and uh, we'll try and make that happen. All right guys, cheers.